then you're gonna need to put your other and then kneel next to it, wrap it around twice, and then reinsert right next to where you came out. Wiggle that sometimes. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna get two original eyes. I'm gonna trim this tail first before I make that knot. And then knot that off. Okay. Have two little eyes there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, you need your pink, still three strands, because we're gonna do the nose. Now, if you don't do stitching very often, it might be easier for you to sketch the nose. I like to make sure you've got a diagonal line um, going to the, each of the tips, so you know that it's about the right size. So you can see, imaginary right there. Okay, so then you can see, I'll sketch that on there, and I will be covering that with, with thread. So I'm gonna come into the corner there and go all the way to the other corner. Like so. Okay. Now I'm actually gonna go back to this side. I want to keep the stitches close. And follow along your line there that you drew. If you look, you can see I have it really close. Okay, so if you keep doing that. Go in the nose. This is called the satin stitch. Pause for a second so you can see my tail. And then the back looks the same except for the tails there. Okay. So the nose is done. Now I like to actually go up through the stitches, between the stitches themselves. And I need a tail. And then I'll just go through just part of the stitches just to bury that knot. You could leave your face just like that and not put a mouth if you wanted to. And if you have any pencil marks, you can just go like that. You didn't get a mouth for whatever reason. Now, if you want to do the mouth, take your black down to three strands. Six would be just too strong. You could even do two strands if you wanted less of a mouth. All right, so I. Sorry, put that on there. So I'm going to start at the bottom of here and go up to the tip of the nose. Okay. And then I'm going to do just a little. Now in this situation, you're actually going to want to go into the stitch that was there already. So it's, it looks like one continuous line. So, For instance, I've got a stitch right here. So 
special for the bunny. This is a back stitch. I'm going to go part way here. And I'm actually going to go into that hole. And pull through. And then I'm going to come back over here and go into that starter hole for that stitch. So it looks like one continuous line. Okay. I'm gonna turn the tail and then I'll show you what the back looks like. Okay. So this is the back looks. We'll go ahead and tie that off. to the tag edges of here and underneath the stitch there by the way. Oh okay. Grabbing my pair of scissors. <laughs> okay. So now your bunny has a base. You should have the feet done. You should have the ears done. Oops. Alright, the only thing that's left to do before assembling the bunny is the hands, which are the easiest. So you just cut them out. You're going to blanket stitch, uh, stopping part way, stuff some stuffing in here just a little bit, finish off blanket stitching. All right, and then I will show you how to put it all together to make your bunny. Your bunny, ears, and uh, I'm doing the feet over here ready, one of the arms ready, and then the back. So what we're going to do first is we're going to attach If you have some pins handy, this would make things a little bit more simple for you. Um, you have an option with the ears. You can do a stitch here to make them like this, or you can just tuck them in flat. So you're going to want to just tuck it just in. You don't want it in too far. see. Okay. So you're going to want to kind of have it in line with the eyes a little bit there. That'll kind of give you a guideline. And then you want to just kind of make sure they have the bead. So you can see it's just in. All right. Now, um, before we get going with the blanket stitch, we need to attach our foot because you're only attaching it with one part, only through the top layer of belt, not through both. So your other foot's going to be going this way. So you want it to be angled. And then I like to just kind of try to get just this area and just do a stitch just through this layer of felt here through that layer. Actually, I'm going to move it up a little bit. All right. So you're going to want to just go through. This layer felt and this layer felt. Oh, I did not. <laughs> that would be helpful. Here, hold on a second. Let me. I didn't want that. So if you look, you can see how I have that attached there. I'm going to go through another time because you want to make sure that your bunny foot is not going to get broken off. You don't want to pull it too tight because then it'll mess up your um, stitching for putting the two sides together. And then I'm just going to knot that. Oh, 
so tangled. Oops. All right, so the bunny foot is attached. Now, put that a third. Stick that in there, and that way you can make sure your sides are all lining up properly. All right, so when you go to blanket stitch, you're going to want to make sure that you do not get any part of your bunny foot in the way there. And I'm going to start right here. So I think I'll go through part way. All right, so I want to put my thumb between the foot and the belt here, so I can make sure I don't accidentally get anything caught up. So I'm going to fold that right into the curve, just like so. I'm going to be blanket stitching through all the layers. So that would be quite a few. You can see I'm through four layers total. I'm going to fold that through. all four layers. And then you can see I'll be going around this room through all four and the same way with the foot attached. Okay. So you can see the lines on my other one as well. I'm going to resume blanket stitching. You're going to blanket stitch all the way to right where the ear, oops, sorry, right into where the ear is meeting the body here. So I'm going to do a smaller blanket stitch there. And then we're going to switch to the running stitch. Look, I did a blanket stitch and now I'm switching over just to the running stitch. Oops, I went to the wrong side. Oops, I'm going to pull that thing out. I'm just going to do a couple of running, oops, it's actually falling out. So that's why you always have to double check. It should be falling out of there. All right, there we go. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you're lined up properly here. And we're going to do a few running stitches to secure the ear before blanket stitching and then running stitching again. You can see the running stitches. Okay, now that we're to the center, we're going to blanket stitch again. So you need to bring your needle back to the front. Back to the front, fold over the 
Oops, back to the front. Okay, that was our final blanket stitch there. And now we're going to go back to the back to do a running stitch. Okay, I'm going to pull that pin out. Make sure my hair is in place good. And we're going to running stitch through all the layers. Don't pull too hard, you'll get all wrinkly. Sorry, pooped in there. <laughs> okay, one more tiny running stitch right there on the edge. Okay. <laughs> all right. So at this point, you're going to keep blanket stitching until you get to your little indention. You'll attach your other arm, blanket stitch down a little bit, stop, add your other foot, which will go that way, blanket stitch. Okay, so at this point, before any of that happens, I would recommend going ahead and putting some stuffing in. Now you're going to want to save some of your stuffing for um, the tail, just like a tiny bit. Okay, stuff that head, stuff that pin in there. Now you don't want to stuff up here too high because you need to be able to get that other foot on. halfway. All right, once you've gotten it about half stuffed, go ahead and take your pins and the bunny closed a bit so that you can hold on to bunny and blanket stitch without the stuffing falling out. So just to go over it one more time, you'd resume blanket stitching until you got to about here. Then you're going to stop and hold the arm on and blanket stitch over that, just like we did here. Then you're going to stop and attach the other foot, blanket stitch all the way closed. And then when I come back, I will show you how that looks, and then we will do the tail. And you will be done. Okay, so got Beatrice or Benjamin all put together here. Now we're going to talk about some finishing touches. Um, one way you can personalize this is you could make your bunny a carrot to hold. You could use some leftover felt and make a little bow, or if it's a Benjamin, bow tie. Okay, um, also, if you take a Stockmar red crayon and some leftover felt and rub some of that on there, you can make some little pinky cheeks for the little bunny. You would like. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now we have a blushing bunny. All right. Now we're going to add the tail. So if you just take some leftover of the wool stuffing, I'm just going to kind of do this. And then I'm going to just roll it up into a ball. Okay. 
like so. Now, if you wanted to really firm it up, you could use a belting needle. But now I've got a little <clears throat> cotton tail. Not to bother. You could hot glue this. You could tacky glue this. Or you could sew this. So I'm going to go through that. Okay, we're secure now. All right, and then we're going to do like we did with the feet. And just... Stitch right on there. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to go up. You know, a little higher here just to really secure the tail. One more stitch. Two. Three. And then we're going to wrap that. Maybe not that twice. Okay. And then we have our lovely little cotton tail. Now if you want to further make sure that that's really attached, tacky glue is my favorite choice. Just push that down. And you are set to go. Got an adorable bunny, and the tail, by the way, helps it sit up. Oh, and there's your tail. <clears throat> you got an adorable bunny to put on display. I hope you enjoyed making your bunny. Please um, <clears throat> share your pictures, especially if you personalize. I really love to see it when people make it their own on Instagram using hashtag Happy Hedgehog Post or on our Facebook page. Thanks.